When Nano transfers to a new school, a group of students gangs up to take advantage of her, not knowing what she's capable of. As the girl gets buried in the middle of the night, Nano wonders about apologies and how we have heard countless of them. Perhaps, she says, people keep making apologies for future mistakes. Just then, it is revealed that Nano is the girl that's getting buried. Days prior, Nano transfers to a new school. Hawk, a varsity player, runs to the basketball court to tell his friends, Cheat and Noong, that a pretty girl just transferred. So the boys rush to room B, where Nano is. They peek through the window to get a glimpse of the new girl. However, their coach suddenly appears behind them and smacks their heads with a newspaper, telling them to return to the court at once. Everyone in the room notices the commotion, including Nano. She turns to her seatmate, E. Tim, asking who those three boys are. She responds that they're the three points basketball players who also happen to be funny. Tao butts in, telling Nano that those boys bring nothing but trouble. E. Tim fancies the three points, but she says they have too many fans and she can't compete with them. Meanwhile, the coach makes the three points run laps as punishment. He asks Hawk if he was the ringleader, and the boy responds yes. Nano becomes the talk of the school, and rumors circulate about her, like how she must be a troubled student or how she had her whole face done. Some say she's mean, while others comment about her attractiveness. The following day, Hawk gives a box of chocolates to eat him. She blushes and asks if it's for her, and Hawk nods. He hands her another box, but when she asks if it's for her too, he tells her not to be greedy. It's for Nano, and he wants her to hand it to her. Eat him rolls her eyes and walks away. Shortly after, she hands both of the chocolates to Nano. However, Nano doesn't want them and insists that Itim take them. Tao tells them to share, but Itim says she doesn't want to eat another person's leftovers. Because of this, Tao grabs the chocolates to eat them herself. Just then, Nano says it's good that Itim didn't eat the chocolates because she needs to lose weight. Itim fumes in anger and walks out of the room. As Tao and Itim head home that afternoon, the three points approach them. They hand them two backstage tickets to a Japanese band's concert, but Itim is immediately suspicious and asks, what the catch is. Hawk hesitates, then explains that his parents will be out of town, so he wants them to join his little party. The girl knows that this invitation is an excuse to see Nano, so they return the tickets and reject their offer. The boys sigh in disappointment, and Hawk blames them for their failed attempt. Meanwhile, e Tim asks Tao if she's tired of people coming to them just to get close to Nano. However, Tao rolls her eyes and tells her that she's overthinking the situation. The following day, Nano finds a white rose on her table. When she looks out the window, Hawk waves at her, pointing to the rose that he left. However, Nano smashes it with her bag, making Hawk act as if she broke his heart. He leaves shortly after, and Tao expresses that it serves him right. As Nano takes her seat, Tao asks her if she doesn't like Hawk at all. However, Nano replies with another question, asking Tao if she likes anyone. She replies that she used to, but boys can't be trusted. As e Tim listens to their conversation, she can't help but roll her eyes in annoyance. She whips out her phone and tells her group chat that Nano is pretentious. The rest of the girls in the group chat reply with nasty comments about Nano. E Tim smiles as she sees more people hating her classmate. That afternoon, Noong asks Tao if she could tutor him on his math test. Tao groans, but she agrees anyway. As Tao explains the formula, Noong looks at Nano and smiles. She smiles back, and Tao notices that Noong isn't paying attention because he's putting his interests somewhere else. Annoyed, she abruptly leaves the room, making E Tim follow her. Noong quickly chases after them, and Nano is left alone in the room. E Tim finds Tao in the comfort room, sobbing in a cubicle. She asks if she still likes Noong, then comments about how she should stop because he's plain and stupid. However, Tao argues that he isn't stupid, he's just bad at studying. Tao continues to cry, saying that she doesn't know why she loves him. E Tim tries to comfort her, but Tao tells her to leave her alone. Moments later, Tao comes out of the cubicle and tells E Tim that they should go to the concert. Knowing what this means, E Tim hesitates, but she looks into Tao's eyes and agrees to the plan. That night, the girls bring Nano to the Three Points party. They try to get Nano drunk, but it seems like she has an extremely high alcohol tolerance. Determined to get revenge, E Tim Tim and Tao pretend to go and get snacks. While they're alone, they plan to make a mixture of drinks that'll make Nano drunk. E Tim brings out a bottle of pills, saying that it'll surely knock Nano out. They agree to put in three pills, but when they're about to hand Nano her drink, E Tim puts in five, just to be sure. Before drinking, Tao proposes a toast and everyone takes a shot. Not long after, Nano collapses on the table, making the three points maniacally look at each other. Hawk immediately tries to carry Nano to his room, but the other boys prefer to see the act right then and there. Tao protests, saying that she doesn't want to witness it. The boys argue about who should go first, but in the end, Hawk takes first dibs because he owns the house. After this agreement, Hawk takes Nano to his room. As she lies on his bed, unconscious, he quickly begins to unbutton her shirt. Suddenly, Nano opens her eyes, completely sober, and wonders if he won't ask first. Hawk gets surprised and apologizes, but Nano doesn't want an apology. Instead, she wants him to ask for permission. With this, Hawk nervously asks if he can bed her. He even says he loves her just to make a statement more convincing. However, However, 
Nana rolls her eyes and heads to the door. She tells the others to stop eavesdropping then opens the door. Tao screams and pulls the door back, saying that Nano can only come out after all the boys have lain with her. Nano asks Itim if she wants to switch places with her, knowing that she likes Hawk. However, Itim screams for Hawk to do what he's supposed to. Pressured, Hawk grabs Nano and tosses her to the bed. He quickly unbuckles his pants and begins to copulate with her. As he does this, he asks Nano if it feels good, but she sarcastically replies that anything as soft as tofu surely excites her. Hearing this, Hawk's friends laugh at him from outside while the other girls try to ignore what's happening. Nano begins to laugh uncontrollably, terrifying and confusing Hawk. He tells her to stop laughing, but when she doesn't, he covers her mouth and chokes her. Nano struggles to breathe, but Hawk is so occupied with his business that he fails to notice this. Suddenly, Nano stops moving, and Hawk realizes that he just killed her. The others notice something wrong, so they barge into the room. As they see Nano's body, they start to panic and place the blame on each other. Knowing that there's no way out, Itim suggests burying Nano. The group does this, and they dig a hole to dump Nano into. Before they can fully bury her, Hawk apologizes to Nano's corpse, saying that he didn't want things to end this way. Not long after, Nano is half buried in the dirt. However, she suddenly gasps for air, revealing that she's still alive. Hawk immediately tells everyone to help her, but the group stops him, knowing that they'll go to jail if Nano lives. Tao yells at the boys to kill Nano, so they bury her faster to suffocate her under the soil. When they've fully covered her underground, they take a moment to catch their breaths. Then, they all apologize for what they did. The following day, the group struggles to focus in class due to the events from the previous night. Just then, someone passes by the three points room, causing them to freeze in horror. Itim and Tao freeze as well upon seeing Nano walk in front of them, back from the dead. As Nano sits down, she asks the girls why they didn't wake her up. During recess, Nano joins the girls and asks why they're so pale. When they don't respond, she assumes that they got really drunk the night before. Tao looks at her, all terrified, and says that she's not Nano. However, the new girl laughs it off asking who she could be if she's not Nano. Itim asks if she's Nano's twin, but the girl thinks that's ridiculous. Just then, Nano tells the girls that they look sick. With this, she grabs Tao's hands and checks her pulse. She also touches her face to check her temperature. Suddenly, her eyes land on the wound on Tao's hand, and she comments that she must have done some digging. Hearing this terrifies Itim and Tao, so they frantically get away from Nano. As the two leave, Nano tells them that the party was fun and that she should be invited again. She then looks back and sees the three points staring at her from the window. That night, the group meets up at Hawk's house to talk about the current crisis. Chit says that he doesn't want to kill another person again, so Tao threatens to drag his father into the problem. Just then, someone rings the doorbell, so Hawk goes to check. To his surprise, he sees Nano smiling back at him. She notices that everyone in the group is there, so she calls them mean for not inviting her. Suddenly, she laughs because she's only kidding and that she actually came there to get her phone. She reckons it's in Hawk's room, so she welcomes herself into the house to go there. As she goes upstairs, the group follows after her. When she gets to the bedroom, she asks Hawk to lie down with her so they can relive some history. When he doesn't move, she asks if he doesn't love her anymore, and if he was going to dump her after he got what he wanted. Suddenly, Nano grabs her phone from under a pillow. She turns to the group and tells them that it has some great videos. She plays a video, revealing Hawk's plea for him to bed her. Another one plays Tao's voice, telling Nano that she can only come out after all the boys have lain with her. Lastly, she plays a video with Itim telling Hawk to take advantage of Nano. There are also videos of Chit and Noong that reveal their involvement in the crime, followed by their plan to bury her body. Everyone starts to panic, but Nano only looks at them with a sinister smile. Suddenly, she decides that the videos must be shared with the world. As she's about to forward the videos, the group piles up on Nano, suffocating her with a pillow. However, Nano only laughs as they try to kill her once more. When Nano dies, they immediately head to the same spot where they first buried her body. They hurriedly bury her again, but as they do, a voice recording of their apology from the other night suddenly plays. Everyone freezes in horror until Tao tells Hawk to grab Nano's phone from the hole. As Hawk leans closer to the corpse, Nano suddenly grabs him by the neck and begins laughing. Hawk screams and untangles her from him while the group frantically tries to bury Nano. In the height of his panic, Hawk slams a shovel on Nano's face to stop her from laughing. As the group desperately tries to stomp on the grave, Nano suddenly appears before them, asking if they're done. Hawk hits Nano with the shovel again, and the group joins him in beating her up. However, Nano only appears behind them, causing the group to run to the car. To their horror, the car is locked and the key is with Nano. She dangles the keys near Hawk's face, so he cautiously grabs them and begins to apologize. However, Nano asks why he's sorry again. She then turns to face the others and they scream in horror. Nano tells them to get home safely, then she kisses Hawk's cheek. As the car drives away, Nano hysterically laughs. While Nano goes to school the following day, she ponders how people have made apologizing a tradition. People tend to apologize, repeat the same mistake, then apologize again, thus continuing a cycle. Shortly after, she arrives at the classroom. Itim and Tao shiver 
shiver in fear as they see her. Then they scream. Seeing this, Nano smirks. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.